Hi, my name is Matt Burnell, and in this tutorial, I want to walk you through our multiple event admin tool. With this feature, you can create as many fundraising events as you like. A huge improvement here at ClickBid and one we are very excited about. Let's dig in. First, I'm going to log into my admin with my email address and password. This tutorial will assume that you have enough permissions to edit your organization and events. If not, please contact your organization's administrator to obtain access. If you have access to a single event, you will be automatically logged in to that event's admin. Once you have an additional event, you will be able to choose between an organization or an event that you have access to. In my example, I'm going to choose an event from the events dropdown. This will load the admin for that event. If you've used ClickBit in the past, this will look very familiar. We worked hard to keep the admin consistent while updating the ability to add simultaneous events. A few things to note. First, you will see an organization menu item. Every event that you create will be linked to your master organization account. To view all your events and to make changes to your organization, tap this link. We have also moved the logout link to its own menu item. Something you may find missing from the event admin is the account status link within the software settings menu. This has been moved up to the organization. Remember that this page handled your license information, renewal date, etc. You can now manage that when you choose the organization menu item and then choose account. While we're on the organization's account page, you'll see several changes, for the better I might add. First, you can easily change your organization's contact information in these two boxes. You can also see any past payments listed in the Receipts Invoices section. Your organization's EIN is listed with tax exemption. Lastly, if you have upgrades available, you can view those in the Upgrade License box. This page is typically one that you set and forget until it's time to renew. Before we look into making and managing new events, let's drop down to the Users link. Remember, you're currently looking at your organization account, which controls all of your events upcoming and past. Now, all of your events can have access to your organization, as well as features within individual events, just like before. Simply choose a name or create a new user and toggle features that you would like to them to have access to. You can then choose an event that you would like them to have access to and modify those permissions as well. You can also change these settings for each event by navigating to the specific event, opening the admin, and then choosing software settings and users. Additionally, we made available all of your recurring donors in the organization admin so that you can view every recurring donor in one single place. Remember that a donor will choose to establish a recurring donation within a specific event. You can even look at the recurring donors that were created in just the specific event by choosing recurring donors from the admin menu. So jumping back to the organization pages, you can edit your user account by choosing profile from the organization menu or within an event admin by going to software settings and profile. I'd like to talk briefly about archiving data. If you've used ClickBit in the past, you may have used the data management page to archive and start another event. With our improved event system, that is a thing of the past. This means that you never have to archive your data. We'll keep it right where it is and you can access it at any time. This actually brings us to the event statuses and organizing your current and previous events. So let's move back to the organization admin by choosing menu and organization. When your event date has passed, you have the option of setting that event to inactive. This will give you the ability to filter out old events using the event status filter. Inactive events still have most of the features available to them as their active partners. Inactive events are really a way to organize them here on this page and have the option to reuse keywords. A little bit more on that in a minute. Probably the most exciting part of our new multi-event admin system is the quick and easy way to add an event to your account. Click on the Add Event button at the top of the organization admin page. If you don't see this button, your permissions do not allow you to create a new event. You'll need to speak with your administrator. Pressing Add Event will pop up a new window. First, you can choose your event keyword. If you'd like to reuse a keyword, choose that keyword from the dropdown. We'll take care of moving it from the old event to your new one. And remember, you can only use a keyword from a previous event that is set to inactive. Of course, you can also create a new keyword. Next, choose an event name, start date, end date and confirm the time zone. Press next. Keep in mind that 
end dates are typically the same day as your event and our on-call support is set to that end date. This page lets you choose an administrator for the account. You can always add users later, but for now you can either pick an existing user from the dropdown or create a new user. Next, you can choose to start your new event with default data or, and this is really cool, you can clone a previous event. I love the option to clone because if I spend a lot of time perfecting my event landing page, then I can copy all the settings and make only minor changes. This is a huge time saver. When copying data, be sure to choose what you'd like to copy. For my example, I'll copy the bidders, items and donors, landing page settings, and the merchant account. Then I'll click next. The last page of the wizard lets you confirm all your settings. See something wrong? Choose edit to make changes. When you're ready, press save event and bingo, your new event is created. I recommend jumping into the event admin right away and browsing the account settings page to confirm the contact and basic account information. While you're in this admin, I would also quickly review the users and edit any users to allow permissions within this event. We're almost done with our training, but I'd like to have a final word about ticket sales and online donations. In the past, if you deleted a ticket sale or online donation, it would add the sale to an archive. As of our brand new glorious update, this is no longer the case, and this is really important. When you remove a ticket sale or online donation, it will be deleted forever. There's no recovery option. Wait, what? Well, this is because we don't want you to remove anything, unless it's test ticket sale information or test donations. Why? Because this event should live in your account indefinitely. If you need a new ticket page or you need a new donation page, create a new event and copy your ticket and items. Keeping your old ticket page will give you the opportunity to review the data anytime after the event is completed. It helps you see historical data to inform future decisions. It's really, really helpful. And there you have it. Our multi-event system is ready for all your events and fundraising. We're very proud of this enhancement because it comes directly from our nonprofit's feedback. As usual, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to submit a support ticket or start a chat.